Heads will fly all over the place. Others will explode by themselves. Everyone will have their chance to betray. And those who don't betray will be betrayed. Welcome to the Reading Room, Italian modern classics and contemporary literature. This new episode is dedicated to Quiet Chaos by Sandro Veronesi. Pietro Paladini is a successful middle-aged man with a good job on a national TV channel, a lovely wife, Lara, and a ten-year-old daughter, Claudia. On a warm August day, Pietro is lying on the beach when he hears that a person is drowning in the sea. Without a second of hesitation, he jumps into the water and saves the life of a young girl. Exactly at the same time, in the garden of his house, an aneurysm struck her wife Laura to death. When Pietro finds out what happened, he is taken over by a strange feeling of absurd quietness. In the days after the funeral, he sits in his car outside Claudia's school, staring at nothing. Whenever people want to express their sympathy, they are surprised by Pietro's calm behavior. At the same time, he starts realizing that his friends, relatives and colleagues do not care so much about his sufferings. They are rather taking the opportunity to speak about their problems, fears and frustrations. Quiet Chaos won the Strega Prize, the most prestigious Italian literary award, in 2006. Sandro Veronesi studied architecture, although his thesis was about Victor Hugo and the idea of conservation and restoration. Most of his novels, translated into many foreign languages, are about troubled family relationships, like his latest novel Colibri, with which Veronesi won the Strega Prize for the second time. Quiet Chaos was published in Sweden in 2013 by the publishing house Contempo, translated by Luis Kahn with the title Stilla Chaos. Did you know that Quiet Chaos was the first multimedia book in Italy? It was available on iPad, iPhone and iPod Touch. Other than the text, it was possible to download short clips from the movie Quiet Chaos based on the novel. Thank you for listening to The Reading Room. Summer is coming soon and our literary journey through Italy has almost come to an end. Next month, we will take you to the colorful and sunny island of Procida, where the island of Arturo by Elsa Morante takes place.